Let's explore the three different voicings on the Chase Bliss Reverse Mode C. In my first video on the Chase Bliss Reverse Mode C, we explored the four knobs that control basic delay functions. Today we're going to look at these two knobs here, which control the voicing. It's the middle dial that controls which type of voicing we look at. We have got reverse octave, reverse and forward, and you can blend between those three and combine them all together. Once you've set which type of voicing you want with the balance knob, you can then off set them and effectively change the delays of the different voicings. A lot of words, but let's let's have a play. Currently got balance on standard delay. So nice enough in itself. Let's keep the offset dial at 12 o'clock for now, which essentially means we're just following the delay settings that we've got at the top here, and we're gonna move all the way counterclockwise to reverse octave. <laughs> Very cool. We'll go to reverse. What's really, really cool is this balance knob is pretty delicate in that if you go in between reverse octave and reverse, we're going to get just that. combination of two. Similarly, if we go in between reverse and forward, we're going to get reverse and forward delay. beautiful stereo which sounds luscious if we go all the way to the right we're going to get a combination of all three which starts to be, sound really really crazy <laughs> In in itself, pretty damn cool. Three different types of delay in there, probably four if you house them all together and you can blend in between. So loads of great options in there. We haven't even touched the offset dial yet. So let's go back to a blend of reverse octave and reverse. So somewhere in the middle. And let's remind ourselves what that sounds like firstly. <laughs> Okay, cool. So let's explore the offset knob now. Let's go all the way to the left. Let's go to all on, because then I think it will separate all three. So the offset 
all the way to the right. So I think it's really, really noticeable there that the different sounds we've got, whether it's the reverse octave, the reverse, the forward, you can hear them more distinctly, the more to the right that you go with the offset, where they're all getting their own, effectively their own delay times. <laughs> Very, very cool. Okay, let's impact some of the other delay uh, knobs now that I talked about in the previous video. Let's lower the delay time overall. <laughs> Let's go a lot higher up. Let's turn the mix up. And with the full mix, you can really hear the differences in the time uh, for each layer. Let's sort of play with that a bit more with the offset dial. Pull the mix back in and now just ramp the feedback a bit. And we should be able to start layering sounds on top of each other, which I think will be really, really cool. So on the face of it, sort of four different voicings, reverse octave, reverse, forward and all. The reality is that that knob just gradually blends and pulls apart and the offset adds that extra layer of differentiation between whatever modes you've got selected. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What did I miss? What else do you want to see from the reverse mode C? Hit subscribe below if you aren't already. This is the second in a series of videos I'll be making breaking down Chase Bliss reverse mode C into its components. I'll release a couple of new videos most weeks of the year and would love to see you back here on the channel. Thanks for watching.